Now, one has sold over 50 million albums and the other is one of the bravest kids choirs in Surrey. Not your most likely combination to get on stage together, but that's exactly what's happening this weekend. Uh, tomorrow, in fact, the band Foreigner will be playing to 40,000 people at Victoria Park. Well, they wanted our help to find a choir to sing their most famous hit alongside them. So we embraced the challenge and found them these guys. Well, that's the voice in a million children's choir from Surrey performing at the O2 in January. They sound fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we're very pleased to say that Sophie and Jack join us now with Mick Jones and Kelly Hansen from Foreigner. And tomorrow, all of you will be performing at the O2, won't you? We'll be all together. We, yes. just, we just met. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that you guys yeah. are actually meeting each other. We just came in from Europe today yeah. and uh, then we came in and met... Uh, Jack and Sophie. So what and do you think, considering that you know, you're going to be joining the stage together tomorrow? Yeah, I mean... Impressed? I think these guys are real pros, you know, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm just worried about rehearsals. You obviously have great trust in the guys there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's going to be 21 uh, kids singing with, yeah. with us, so that's <clears throat> going to be very exciting. And we've already talked a little bit, and I... I, I hear that they are uh, got their harmonies together, and uh, <laughs> so it should be really fun. So, Sophie, have you been practicing hard? Yeah, we've been practicing every week um, for a couple of hours. It's really fun, though. Wow. And are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. Me and Jack can't wait. <laughs> Such an amazing experience. Now, is it, obviously, you said that you've just come in from elsewhere in Europe. Is this something that you've done before, trying to get local kids involved and sing on oh. the stage with you? We do it on a constant basis in, in the States. And um, we have a foundation. We work with a foundation called the Shriners, uh, which is a very much a a children's oriented uh, program in all different categories. And VH1 Save the Music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Which helps bring musical instruments back to schools and you know when they cut the budgets in schools the first thing to go is the music mm -hmm. instruments so we donate towards that. That's great. Now what does this hit mean to you? Obviously it means so much to so many people. It's, it's scored number ones and the charted uh, around the world in every decade. Even now for you guys yeah. you uh, don't seem to have grown tired of it. Well, you know, it was a song that's, that I wrote that started off as a personal, more of a sort of a love song, you know, and then as I was writing it, some elements came together and it just started to feel more and more universal as, I, mm. as we got to the end of recording. And that's what happened and, it, and it, it's been adopted like in that way as a universal bring people together kind of thing and uh, that search for love, the big love, Aww. you know. I'm sure it's featured at many weddings over the years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but people now, also said that it was um, not just in happy yeah. circumstances, it helped them a lot through, you know, tough circumstances and tragedy. So, Jack, I'll get you in, because he was hiding over there uh, at the back. <laughs> now, what was it like um, for the whole group, the whole choir, when they found out that you're going to be singing on the stage with these guys? It was absolutely awesome. We were really excited, really pleased. Now, um, Kelly, I know that uh, you've been a part of the band for maybe three or four years? Uh, almost six. Almost six years. Yep. What's it like going into a band that's so huge? Well, it was... Uh, I knew it was going to be a challenge, uh, but I, I had the support of Mick and uh, the rest of the guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, in the video. <laughs> in the video behind. Yeah. Aww. And, Sorry. Uh, uh, so that was really important, uh, going in and doing uh, these songs that everybody knows and um, you want to do you want to do well and uh, so um, but really really having the confidence of someone with sure. the, the stature and and um, uh, skills and reputation and history uh, of success and of course as I said earlier <laughs> and sometime and we're going to hear how the weather is because I know you're very concerned about that Absolutely. but what tips do you have for the choir for the kids well you know um, normally I, I'd be a bit uh, you know help them to Get over stage fright and mm. stuff like that, but I don't. I don't think these guys are. No, you know, cool I think they're supremely confident. They'll be looking after you. They probably will be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, they're, they're, they're fine. Kids yeah. today, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I hope all four of you have an incredible time. And make sure you pass it on to the rest of the choir, you guys, when you see them. And also, I know that you're playing at the, the Roundhouse at the iTunes Festival as at well the on iTunes Sunday. Festival so on make Sunday. sure you enjoy that yeah. as well. But thank yeah, you so much Sunday, for joining us. Big weekend in London. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Right.